What's up guys, Bodie here, bodydavison.com. So today's video, we're gonna dive into designing shirts on Canva, designing t-shirts on Canva. So this is something that uh, got commented in my YouTube comments. So make sure you drop your comments in the YouTube comments because I am listening to what you guys are saying. So any requests you have for videos, drop them down below and I'll be sure to either answer them in the comments. Well, I'll do that either way. But also I might even make a video about it because I'm looking for more content that you guys want to see. So any sort of questions you have, just drop them down below. Thanks so much to everyone who keeps liking and commenting on the videos. Make sure you hit subscribe and stay tuned. I've got the print on demand playlist, which I've been working hard on and a lot of you guys are enjoying the content. So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe if you're interested in print on demand or drop shipping, affiliate marketing, all of this stuff. I've got heaps of videos on it, but specifically we're going hard with print on demand. So make sure you drop your comments below. I've had quite a few people watching these videos and making their first few sales or increasing their sales. So this stuff works guys. This stuff's uh, absolute gold. And even with the things that are going on with the global pandemic right now, there are still people buying shirts. That's another question I've had. Um, it's obviously not going to be as flat out as what it could be, but at, at the very worst, you're going to build up your business and build up your following on your social medias. So when everything does go back to normal, because it will, um, people are going to be back to normal and spending money as normal. And you're going to have a huge following and be able to push lots of people to your listing. So you've got to work hard in these times, even though it doesn't seem like it's all that certain, but make sure you do that. So anyway, let's get into today's video, which is how to design t-shirts on Canva. All right, guys, so very excited to go through this with you. This is something that I use actually daily. So as you can see, I have my uh, YouTube thumbnails and I use this for a lot of other things and I've used it for um, different ads over the years as well. There's so many things you can do with it. So if you're new to Canva, then let's just go through how it works. So all you're gonna do is go create a design up here, but you can try other things like Let's say if I started typing uh, YouTube, it would come up with a few of different uh, different things for me to do there. Or you went Instagram, it'll do Instagram posts, Instagram story. So it has a lot of these settings saved in, as you can see. But um, with creating a t-shirt, you wanna do a custom setting because you wanna have as many pixels as possible on it. So I'll show you guys what I mean. If we just go create a design and we're gonna go custom dimensions, and then the width that we want to go with for t-shirt designs is 4,500 times 5,400. And I'll tell you why you can't, the maximum you can go for pixels here is uh, 5,000 by 5,000. But what you want to, oh, that'll have to be 5,000, sorry. But what you want to do is um, go 4,500 by 5,000 because if you're doing merch by Amazon as well as these other print on demand ones, like I've been taught, teaching you, merch by Amazon, their total one is four and a half thousand by 5,400. So if we just go this, that's gonna be, you can use this on all the t-shirt sites. You can customize that afterwards, obviously, but just for general covering all bases, this is an easy way to do it. Then we just go create design. Uh, closing that other tab, yes. All right, so what we're looking at here is we're gonna do a design with text. That's usually what I start out with. They have a lot of templates and stuff, but obviously we're not interested in that. So most of the shirts that we're gonna make are gonna be a text design, and it's gonna give you a few here. So let's just go, let's just go. How about, so you're obviously gonna get some cool some cool looking text here. So what if we go just with this, hugs and kisses. So as you can see, it comes up very small on the screen there because this is such a huge uh, pixel ratio. So all you do to spread it out is just grab it and pull it down like that. Or you can highlight the whole thing and then just change the text, whatever you wanna do. And we're just gonna make it so it fits the page all right something like that. And then let's just go hugs and kisses. Um, because I'm in the dog niche, let's go from, whoops, your Labrador. Yep. 
and that can be our t-shirt design. Obviously, I haven't thought about this design or anything, so just bear with me. I just wanna show you guys how to do this though. So we'll just have this towards the top because that's where you want it to be and make sure it's kind of center aligned there. But that's not gonna to matter too much either because we're going to remove this background not going to be using Canva. So Canva, you can actually upgrade Canva and do remove background, but we're not going to bother with that. I'm going to show you a workaround. So let's say hugs and kisses from your Labrador is going to be my dog niche t-shirt. Then we're just going to go to download and you want to go PNG, which is going to be the highest quality image, as you can see there. And then you can do transparent background, like I said, which would be awesome, but we're not, we don't want to pay for Canva. We would just want to use the free version. So I wouldn't bother doing that. That's up to you though. Maybe you do heaps of these sorts of designs and you're interested in paying for Canva, then go right ahead and you, you will have access to that. But otherwise you can use either a background, background remover, or you can use, um, what's on the Mac. I'll show you guys cause I'm on a Mac right now. So we'll just download that and it'll prepare our design and then pop it up here. And what you're going to use is if you've got this pencil icon here, so if you're on a, can I make that bigger? Oh no, it gets too big, sorry. So if you're on a Mac, you'll have this pencil icon and then you're gonna click that and you're gonna to go to what's called the instant alpha. So this instant alpha, you click that and what it does is you can select all of this except for when it goes fully red but if you just go to there, that's gonna select, you wanna go just before it gets red. Cause if it gets red, that means the whole thing selected, but we just wanna go to about there. And then you just hit your delete button or backspace and it's gonna remove the background. So as you can see, the G had a part there that wasn't removed. So we're gonna go that. And then the E as well down here, we're gonna go that. And then the only thing is if you zoom in, which we'll do right now. So let's say we zoom in. So when you zoomed right in like this, if you select again and you go right up, see how it's taking the very edge, that white part off. So when it's going very red there, all the way to the edge, just before it goes all red. So if we just go back to right about there, and then we go delete or backspace, that's gonna really clean up everything. So it's a lot better. So if we zoom back out, now it's going to have really cleaned up all of that around. All right, so I just went through and cleaned all that up. So now what we have is a is our design without a background. So the background is completely removed and now this is fine to be uploaded onto your t-shirt designs. So that's how it's done guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. This is on a Mac. Obviously, if you don't have a Mac, there is other ways to do it. You can use something like a background remover and there's different ones, but there's one called, um, let me just find it for you guys. Yeah, so remove background. There's a few of these that are free on the internet. So you can upload your image and remove your background that way. Or there might be other ways to do it as well that you'll be able to find. All right guys, just so we're gonna finish off this video strong, we've got the bulk resizing tool. So this is just called bulkresizephotos.com and it's completely free. So you can find this on the internet and we're actually gonna resize these for Merch by Amazon. So we want that 4,500 by 5,400. And so all we're gonna do is choose our image. So we've chosen our image and then we just wanna change this to not 50%, but 100%. And then you're just gonna to go to file size here. Oh, exact dimension, sorry, wrong, wrong tab. So we're just gonna go 4,500 by 5,400, which is perfect for Merch by Amazon. You wanna leave this ticked on so it's not stretching or squashing your images. And then what else did we have here? That's all good. Then we click to expert mode and we actually want to change this to PNG because that's the sort of file that we want. And then transparent backgrounds on and we're just going to go start resizing. And that is completed. And then now that is saved to our computer. So just resize, just that easy. Very, very easy, completely free to use. So thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you got a lot out of this video. I hope you're getting a lot out of this whole Teespring and print on demand series. Please like the videos, please comment below 
and please hit subscribe.